Hello, welcome back. Today we're gonna talk about balcony ideas. So I have got three balconies and uh, they all had their makeovers during this year. First I'm gonna talk about this vegetable balcony. So this is the longest balcony and have got more space. Uh, earlier we used to grow plants in troughs and small pots but what happens is they dry out quickly and so we thought why not just uh, grow them in like a raised garden kind of thing. So we made the structure using plywood because this is so high we put polystyrene and cardboard underneath then we lined it up with the pond liner. You can see the liner is still here so when we water it doesn't go over. This is like a big area to fill so we used four coco peat, big blocks of coco peat and uh, 40 kgs of uh, this compost, garden compost and we ordered all that from Amazon. You can get your hands easily on that. To make it look pretty and waterproof we put this blue plastic. So here we have got yard long beans. You can see they are growing and growing and then we have we have planted tomatoes and we are growing onions from picking onions. It's easier to grow this way because if you start from a seed it takes a whole lot of time. We have got cucumber. This is a local variety. These can grow longer but it's nice to have it like this size, the taste nicer. Now here's the cucumber. So this is our first cucumber. And we're gonna have it in our burgers today. Because the sun is mo there most of the time and the plant get direct sunlight. So that's not good for the plants. So we shaded this with this green netting and it helps a lot. When you are designing a balcony, it is important to have a sitting area. So we have got this here and we have two chairs and we put a mattress on it and you can sit here, watch the sunset and have a drink and enjoy. And this is a very good place to be in winters because the sun is here most of the time so you can sit here and have your vitamin D. Next we have got some pak choy. We have been picking it a lot so there's not much left. So here we got a dish to encourage the insect to come. They help in pollinating the plants. We are growing tomatoes on the edge and we did support from these bamboo sticks and for the vines to grow we have got this bamboo structure and we bought it from a local market here. This is lemon, this is jalapenos, there's one growing here. We have some herbs, this is basil, there are two or three varieties here. And that's an apple tree that arrived like almost dead but it's doing great now. This is all cress, it's good for garnishing food and um, with eggs or in salad, it has got a peppery taste. This is a grapevine and it's growing strong. This is our rosemary and these are varieties of chilies. Some are jalapenos and some are Kashmiri chili. This is a turmeric plant. We ordered some leeks yesterday and they all came with roots so we planted these and eggs have already started coming up similarly celery so this is a whole new thing what you can do is if you have like things cut with roots you can just cut them and plant them and they might grow have you got a curry leaf plant more tomatoes more onions we've got lemongrass here because I love to make Thai food and we have got some mint here and it's flowering and from here we are training this bougainvillea here so that is in on other balcony and we're gonna take you there how much water does this take? two big cans every day and 
to be sure that we are not over watering the plants we have got these moisture meters we've got this grass fake grass and it makes it look all of this prettier you can just take out your vacuum cleaner and clean it We are in jungle balcony now. We have, because we are on tenth floor, there is uh, issue with the pigeon. They come and like they make their nest. So we have lined this up with the pigeon net. When we went to Goa, we saw a jungle garden like this, and we got inspired. And because we love Goa so much and tropical plants, we wanted to have a jungle garden here. For the structure, we used uh, pine pine wood planks, and we bought it from a local lumber store. We hooked small pieces of wood to the railing so it won't collapse this side. And this is basically a kitchen balcony. We have got fish filters here. This is a washing machine. Fish filters? What's that for? We have got a fish pond there, so. Those are the filters. Here we have got different varieties of plant and they're kind of symmetrical. The palm trees on the edge and that side on the edge and like at a similar distance. And then we have got this uh, mother-in-law tongue. This is a variegated plant and nice purple leaves for contrast. You can see here we have got that moisture meter here too. We have got loads of peas lily hanging over the edge. Umbrella plant here. We have crotons. This is ginger. These plants are happy and their new leaves come in. Some of them sulk in a winter because it's very cold. Not that cold, but uh, they come back as soon as winter finishes. And we water them every day, water these every day, twice a day. For the nutrients, we put some slow release like this. This is a slow release fertilizer, liquid seaweed. We ordered these on Amazon. This is Epsom salt. This is for foliage. You can. This is water soluble, very good for tomato plants and cucumber. Here we have got a sitting area. We usually have our breakfast here, and this is one of my first bonsai that I have made. And here we've got a small pond. You can see because we are keeping small fish, so it doesn't don't need a filter. We don't get harsh sunlight here. We get the morning, mild morning sunlight from there, and then mild sunlight during the sunset. So this is the perfect place to grow these plants. The plant get dusty, so what we do is we spray them with this to give humidity and and it also clean the leaves but I was talking about the insects and stuff see there's a grass over there so most of this collection came from our local garden but then there's a Delhi festival garden festival also in Noida too got this net here and this is for shading this is another bonsai that we got from a garden festival and we made a landscape and this is kind of miniature garden being on the 10th floor what happens in monsoon season is they get soaked and batted but then again we'll have to water it the next day when the sun comes up it dries up so quickly so always Keep checking your moisture meter. Also, these peas lily, these are the best indicator of like when the water is low because what happens is they the leaves start wilting, so you will know if you don't have moisture meter, plant these. These no. are the best natural moisture meters. If you want them to grow nicely, you don't overwater these. Not too wet, not too dry, but never let them bone dry.
is our corn balcony. We wanted space to have loads of fishes and that's why we built this. We were having fishes in the small tub and you can check that on our video when we made this pond. The, the frame is built the same way as the kitchen balcony. You can see there's an L shape. We used the plywood and we used the thick liner to line all of these and we made this water feature here. The fish is happy here. All ready for the food. We feed them once a day. We have got some huge tobacco. You can see the tail there. There it is. Very fast. People always think this is overcrowded for the fish, but what happens is when we open the door and come here, they just come together. And whenever we are making videos, they are just so friendly that they stay there. And we've got some fake plants here make it look nice people often say how they don't get cold in the winter because this is open because they are cold water fish they will stay happy but we want to keep them active so that's why we use pond heater you can put a pond heater and keep the temperature around 22 23 and that's uh, like a uh, perfect temperature for them even though they are cold water fish, the temperature is about 29 degrees Celsius because it's India and it's monsoon season and they're still happy here and they're very adaptable and we change the water on weekly basis so whenever I need to pump out the water I just put it in here and there's a valve there you can just pump it